Welcome to today's video, brought to you by Glomic, your global provider of knowledge and support for the industrial sector. In the next minutes, we'll dive into the practical differences between the Haas VF1 and the VF2 machining centers, what to look for when purchasing a used model, and other available options. Comparing the two models side by side, you'll immediately notice size differences. The Haas VF1 is more compact, with a footprint of 88 inches x 63 inches, 2235 x 1606 mm, while the slightly larger VF2 measures 106 inches x 70 inches, 2692 x 1778 mm. Axis travel range on the VF1 model features 20 inches, 508 mm, on the X axis, 16 inches, 406 mm, on the Y axis, and 20 inches, 508 mm, on the Z axis. The VF2 provides more extended range, featuring 30 inches, 762 mm, on the X axis, 16 inches, 406 mm, on the Y axis, and 20 inches, 508 mm, on the Z axis. Both the VF1 and VF2 come standard with a 7.5 horsepower, 5.6 kilowatts, spindle, but they also offer optional 20 horsepower, 14.9 kilowatts, or 30 horsepower, 22.4 kilowatts, high torque models for users requiring higher cutting capacity. A 20 or 30 station tool changer is available for both machines, too. The VF1 and VF2 share many standard features, including the intuitive 15-inch LCD touchscreen control panel, Ethernet connectivity, and the easy-to-use Haas control software. Users can tailor operations to their specific needs, thanks to numerous productivity-enhancing options and add-ons. Purchasing a used Haas VF1 or VF2 can be a cost-effective solution, but be sure to pay attention to these critical areas, be mindful of the machine hours, which can impact the machine's condition significantly. Check spindle hours and machine hours, keeping in mind that lower hours are generally better. Typically, a machine with less than 10,000 to 15,000 hours is considered low hours. Always request maintenance records from the seller, and look for regular servicing, this typically includes oil changes, filter replacements, and general machine maintenance. Inspect the machine's cosmetic and mechanical condition, paying close attention to any dents, scratches, or signs of collisions. Replaced parts may indicate a well-cared-for machine, but it's also essential to confirm if the replaced parts are genuine Haas components. Always inquire about available financing programs, as they can significantly impact your overall investment. Additionally, check for any remaining warranty on the used machine, which can provide peace of mind. Depending on your needs, you may also want to consider other models in the Haas lineup, such as the VF3, VF4, or VF5. These models offer various specifications and capabilities to fit your unique requirements. To summarize, when comparing the Haas VF1 and VF2, consider their size and travel range differences, spindle and tooling options, and standard operational features. When purchasing a used machine, pay close attention to machine hours, maintenance records, and condition. Don't forget to explore financing options, warranties, and other Haas models suitable for your needs. We hope today's video provided valuable insights into choosing the right Haas Vertical Machining Center. For more professional and informative content tailored for the industrial sector, subscribe to Glomix YouTube channel and visit our website. Thank you for joining us.